All right. So, last time we started a uh, a new run on uh, Hell difficulty, following the So Young route, and we are going for a uh, White Chrysanthemum again to finish off our uh, playthrough. And uh, we completed both main building one and two. Uh, so we're just gonna get right back into this. And by jumping into the new building and see where it left me with the auto save because I have no idea what it's what that's gonna do. It's past our meeting time, but Jihyeon isn't here. So it looks like it just left me off of the dialogue. Um, with the first dialogue option post auto save, so that's good. Um, so again, we're going with the left options on this one. Um, basically, just you know, build, building affinity with her. Well, yeah, I'm worried, but something's off. And then there's you. <laughs> Tell me, why are you so nice to me? All right, deny it all you want, but your actions are definitely affecting something. Well, this just might work in my favor anyway. Don't be too nice to me. Listen, I think that I need to go search for some kind of clue. Let's stick together. The new building is divided into the yellow, red, and blue sections. To open each door, you need a key card that matches that section's color. You're going to need to remember that. Hey, Caitlin. This one's open. Let's take a break in here. Oh, I'm thirsty and tired. And there's your hint as to what you need to do, which is get her coffee. Oh, is that for me? And of course I already have it from previous. Oh, did you want some of it? forgotten about this. Thank you for returning it. It means quite a lot to me. Come to think of it, I don't even know your name. This is overdue, but I'm So Young Han. To introduce yourself. Mm-hmm. You too. I think I've rested long enough. Let's move on. Hey there, Corey. Okay, while we have a modicum of downtime. Can't go in any of the card rooms, so it's not really worth checking or worth messing around with them. There is one thing we want to get upstairs, but uh, we can get that in a moment. So she actually Here's keeps up with us. History room. <clears throat> they say they built this to celebrate the proud history of the school. Chairman built it to somehow mask the school's terrifying past. I think there's a key card there. Let's go in. Ah! 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 Ah!
was scary. Whatever you do, do not sniff the girl. Hey, Beth. No joke, sniffing her is a deal breaker for the ending. <laughs> Let's use that key card to open the second floor hallway door. And if there was ever an appropriate time to unzip the pants, that was not it. I've I've made it this far. Yes, you literally just told me. I made it this far through the game without saying that, so thank you, Corey, for putting that in my mind. gonna run no okay. she's going on she's going on her own time here you'll be able to head towards the main hall if you have that card yes I know I know how this works hey there Bree I'm looking you're just taking forever okay Uh, Caitlin, you said guys, you guys were watching. Were you watching the the hell mode one? I did edit it, so you didn't have to sit through the bed. Step it up a little bit. <laughs> wow, she's really taking her time. Okay, I'm just walking here. I'm not even running. You had that little skip in your step there for a bit. Okay, so the reason I kind of stopped at the auto save part that I did is so I didn't have to deal with this guy. Because, you know, we all saw what happened last time. Take a look up there. Is that a key? I think it's the key to the roof. Why is that there, though? I think that it would be better if we split up for now. You go ahead and check out the rooms that open with that key card. <laughs> as soon as I open them, he's going to be up here. Please be careful. Okay, I need to get down to the dance studio. Which means I gotta get him up here. I suppose I could open the doors after he's out of sight. Just keep keep doing that. That's all I need, man. He doesn't hear the doors unlocked, right? We're going to find out, I guess. Just far enough away. He turned around. He's already screwing with me. Where'd you go? 
Dude, really? Oh man, I'm. This is gonna be a long night. <laughs> this is gonna be a long night. You're not gonna hear that, are you? Let's test this. No, he didn't hear it. Okay. Let's open up a few doors here. If he's distracted up here, there's more time for me down there. These are the ones that don't open. Should be a pen and a coin, I think. Maybe not a pen, that might be another room I'm thinking of. Nope, there it is. If you notice, my pens were down to 11 there and I started with 12. Um, that's because of hell mode. sound. <laughs> oh, speaking of cheeseburgers, so Beth, how serious were you about getting me a sign? <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I got a perfect place for it. Now I, now I want cheeseburgers. That sounds really good. Alright, so there's a few things in here we're going to want. Um, health items. More distractions for him. So let's see where he's gone since then. Oh, I, I would totally take that. I would absolutely love one. <laughs> I like commission for that. Okay, okay, where'd he go? Is he back down here again? Ooh. Oh, this could work to my advantage. If he goes down the hallway. Oh, please. Please stay there. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. That is exactly what I wanted. But he could turn around. Do we go for the door? I'm totally going for the door. Oh, I can still hear him whistling though. This could really at least screw me over. This could really screw me over. Okay, worst case scenario, we open the door. <laughs> okay, this is extra bad. Wish me luck. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> okay, bad, bad. Okay, last ones. No, back. Wait, where's the other one? Where's the other one? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, 
Oh, oh, yeah, take that. Damn, that was close. Oh, my heart's racing. Oh, no, no, lights. Ah, ah, ah. No, no. Oh, man. What was my timer on that? I must have been... Oh, there he is. Okay. I must have been really, really uh, cutting it close there. Okay. Heart, heart rate down. Down, down. Oh, please go through the door. Okay, what's next? We gotta go upstairs, right? Oh, yes! Oh, yes, okay. Just keep walking down that hall, man. <laughs> okay, so, do I try the glitch with, um, uh, with the ghost girl? I don't know if that'll work with this mode. Let's not try it, let's not push it. Let's, um, keep walking. You got plenty of rooms down that hallway, man. Keep checking them, all right? Just keep checking them. Just keep going. I didn't even wake up the spider girl. Did we tempt Grandma? I say we tempt Grandma. She can't actually hurt me, so... Although she could catch me and stop me from running away. Um... Oh wait, I can open these now. I think there is a trank in here. Yeah, okay. I don't remember if there's any coins. Should be a ways away from me. I don't think there's much in there, so I'm gonna leave that room. This one I need. Okay, uh, let's see. Get the AC unit running. No hamburgers! All right. Actually, I should probably just leave that open. You were not there a second ago. So remember, with the uh, Waker Santham ending, uh, Ji Hyung, uh, we're not trying to build affinity, we're trying to get the truth. So, um, calm down. Everybody wants to hear that, right?
everyone's acting strange. So young lied to me and said she never called. She didn't call. And she keeps looking for her dead sister. And Sonya keeps following So Young, getting all worked up. And then she disappears. And I keep seeing these impossible, creepy things. It's all because of this place. This car school is making all this happen. Yes, partly. Um, so, she doesn't know anything. But you need to press her on it. You know something, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. And she really I doesn't. I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Just leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Get out. <laughs> now I do believe we can run straight downstairs if we want to. However, we have a couple things we gotta do here first. Or try to, at least. Uh, we gotta get the lights on. Janitor's nearby. Really close, I do believe. Yeah, <laughs> really close. Um, we can hear him already. <clears throat> I wanna switch the light, switch from the power uh, for the AC unit to the lights. Cause that's gonna be one of our next things. Uh, the next thing we do need to do, though, is get down to the, uh, is it, one of the, I can't remember what the room's called, uh, the one that's downstairs. I want to say that's either music appreciation or something like that. Okay, I'm going to take the plunge. Or maybe I shouldn't. You can see through stuff in this room, so I'm being... A little cautious. So where is he? Oh. He's coming. <laughs> You didn't see me. Where's he going? Oh, this is bad. Which way are you going? I feel like I'm going to need to run him out. What do y'all think? Can I make it down? There's the question. You know, I kind of want to screw with him. Nope, too late. <laughs> One problem that I am foreseeing. I no, actually, I don't think it's a problem. Never mind. Oh my god, I'm already running out of. Uh, Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. How close are you? Hey, where you at, man? I'm okay, right? Don't worry about it. We're good. All right, now you don't kill me, all right? You stay right there. No. No, 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 no. Don't stand. <laughs> no, no, where'd she go? Where'd she go? No, 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 she's all the way down there. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Um... Gotcha. Alright. Don't want him to hear that. We've seen him react to light switches before. Maybe here is not the right word, but. Oh, shut up, dude. Seriously. Okay. So, girl without the face, she's gone. <laughs> hmm. He's down here. Still. I wonder if I can make it to the stairs. No, I cannot. <laughs> question asked, question answered. Did you just get stuck on the stairs, dude? Give you a wide berth. Can I make it to the bathrooms? I do not know. I want to try something else, actually. Yeah, I thought that might work. There's nobody here. Just turn around and leave. No, that's the opposite of what I said. There's nobody here. Let's go about your way. Are you seriously going to open that door and leave that way and then go and check out the other door like you didn't just open it? You are, aren't you? Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, wait, wait for it. He's going to come back in here. Maybe I lucked out, then he went left. Oh, I can definitely hear the whistling from the left. Okay. So 
So the trick with the classrooms is that you do not want to be running full blast when you're in them. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure you have just enough distance between you and him. Shut the door behind you. Stop walking or stop running and walk to the back of the room. Um, preferably middle seat, but the others work too. And just sit behind the desk. Oh my god, how'd you get down there so fast? Man, dude, you don't just run fast, you walk fast. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna scope. Yep, do the spin. Uh -huh. If I open up the door now, he's definitely going to hear that. Oh, he's going through the hallway, okay. That's the voice of that girl. Who are you? Why are you here this late? So, ask who are you? The other one doesn't help. I'm the night duty teacher. Look, I don't know why you're here. But here's the key card. That leads outside. Be careful. It's dangerous here at night. Night is when the dead ones come to life. It's dangerous out there. Take one of these. Um, <clears throat> night teacher, a.k.a. music teacher. Why are you telling me this? I just hope you don't make the same mistake I made. Get out of here before it's too late. You'll get trapped in the school forever, too. Okay, we might have to do this quick, because janitor might come running through here. We have another dialogue option to trigger. I can't find any clues. And I think we're completely stuck here. Yes, we are. Did my sister get stuck too? Yes. Do you know the reason I'm here? I do. Well, it's for my sister. You've heard the rumors about me. How I had a sister. My sister killed herself two years ago at the school. There had to have been a reason, but no one ever bothered to find out. So this is one of those times where she really shows vulnerability. Um, up to this point, you may not have figured it out that that, that was her sister, but of course, if you follow the Sung Az route, she fills you in much sooner. So this is where you kind of get the truth out of her. Um, so why did she kill herself? I'm not really sure. But I think it involves her friend. I used to hear her yelling in her room at night. When I eavesdropped, it sounded like she was talking on the phone. Then, when my sister died, I wanted to find out who those calls were with. I feel so bad for her. She must have had some kind of reason but 
No one knows. I can't even help her move on. Never talked about this with anyone before now. Let's go now. Hey. Odds, what are the odds of meeting you here? Okay, do I go for the lights or do we want to hunker down here? Yes, yes, I know. Okay, this one, right? Okay, it's. What are the numbers? Um. One five, I want to say one five eight ten twelve. Okay. I, I didn't open the door downstairs though. Crap. One five. 8, 10, 12, I think is the order. Okay, I think this is 8 right here, yes. Oh, this is bad. Oops, oh, he's right next to me. Um, Good work. <laughs> I think Beth is probably the only one here that could help me with that if I screwed up. <laughs> oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Come on, just gotta get it open. Yeah. Yeah, keep laughing. Thank you, Beth. Okay, now it's gotta flip the switch. I should despawn him for a second. And respawn him right next to me, but, you know. It's, it's the little things, right? Stop laughing. I think Tofi spawns him, even if he's right behind you, but we're going to find out in a second. I'm not hearing anything, so unless you guys heard something, I'm just going to kind of pop out and see what happened. Uh, That kind of backfired in a way, didn't it? I have no idea where he is. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea where he is. He had to have gone down the hallway, right? Yeah, I wouldn't hear him otherwise. I want to try a few things. That might get his attention. He's definitely not here. He's got to have gone down the hallway. So which hallway did he go down though? The blue or the yellow?
So we need to do the clock puzzle. I'm just gonna go over here. No! No! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I hate you. Go away! This is not the time, girl. <laughs> not the time for that. That could have been very badly timed if he had spotted me there. Is he coming this way or just go up in the halls? I, the bottom door is not open, so I have I still have to open that from the other side. Hello from the other side. Um, and then the blue door. I should have grabbed the lunchbox from downstairs while I was there. It sounds like he's moving away from me. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go get some supplies while he's figuring out what he's doing. Um. So clock puzzle. We got three rooms down that hallway. We have to open up and investigate for this. Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me. You mind game? There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. How many? Five, okay. Oh! No! 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 Oh! <laughs> what gave me away? That was a freaking cheap shot. What gave me away? Oh, I hate you, dude. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so. What? I'm just caught in a loop of him running after me now? Okay, I'm getting those keys. I'm just caught in a loop. Just, this is my life now. I'm caught in a loop. He's just on me no matter what now. Just screw up, dude. Just screw up. Oh, shut up. No. No. I will not. I will not. Nah, uh, he's not giving me a chance. Okay, let's... I kind of like to hide in the classroom. Instead of using... Do you mind? I'm trying to shut the door behind me. Oh, come on. No! <laughs> okay, I've definitely caught in the loop. <laughs> that that was not part of my plan, just for the record. That's it. Just for the record, that was not part of my plan. Getting whacked.
Oh, uh, actually, I don't know if my plan's gonna work. You know what? We got plenty of felt tip pens. Let's give it a shot. Well, let's give it a. Let's give it a shot. It's it's never never a bad thing to try new stuff, right? I'm sure your mother told told you as mine did me. It's always good to try new things. Oh, that could have actually worked in my favor. This might not work. I have no idea if this will work or not. Now the downfall of my plan might be obvious, but... I can't do anything here, but uh, depending on where he respawns, <laughs> I have an auto save, right? I don't think he can come in here yet. So, instead of him, we got her now. So the problem here, of course, is I don't know where he is. Um, <clears throat> but I'm out of the loop. Unfortunately, the more out of the loop I get, the uh, more likely he's going to find me and kill me because I have no backups. Hey, I forgot about you. Oh, look at that. What do you know? Okay, so where is he is the question. <laughs> this is not good. I have no idea where he is. He always hears me when I open those doors, too. Okay, so here's the plan. If he's not here... I don't see him. This is the one I think where we can initiate the puzzle. We have one puzzle we gotta figure out so we can go and talk to the mermaid. By talk, I mean not talk, but so Beth, I might need your help here, but or whoever wants to help me. <clears throat> Grab that just in case. We've got Greenwich, and what time are we at? We are at 3 o'clock. Greenwich is 3. So, which means... Um, Moscow should be 6. Uh, Beijing should be 11. And Washington should be uh, 12. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you, did you get those down? Can I squeeze through those? No, I cannot. Yeah, six, eleven, twelve. The 
this one is Beijing. Yeah. He always sneaks up on me with these. Assuming my math is correct, I could have screwed that up. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I put that... No, I did that right. I did that right. Oh! <laughs> the other one's on the right time already. Classy. Oh, yeah. We got this. We got this! This is an L-shaped rod. I shall call it L-rod. <laughs> That's literally what they call it. <laughs> the L-rod. <laughs> or L-rods, plural, there's two of them. I just need to get to the L-rods. I would like to kind of test the waters and see if the janitor can get into the pool area before it's drained. <clears throat> but I also don't want to like be dealing with them. <laughs> you know, let's not let's not keep opening doors. <laughs> let's not keep drawing his attention. He might be down here for all I know. He usually spawns downstairs. I should probably should not be down here. Oh, and he can see me through the glass. Oh no. What is that? Hey. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. So are you like right there? Oh, not quite. Okay, I think I can run this out. Dowsing rods. Hey, don't... Don't, don't jam my style here. He didn't even hear me. Just meandering down the hall that way. <clears throat> All right, got to deal with uh, the mermaid. Did you grab me at the edge of the pool? I've never tried that. I guess we're gonna find out. She does have an interesting and unique death animation with us. you're wondering which half we were getting, right? Top half human, bottom half fish. Okay, where do we go from here? She's a little bit faster, I think, in home mode. So she might grab me. That 
battery. I'm just whoa. Okay, didn't go far enough. <laughs> <coughs> that was really close. I almost fucked up the edge there. He's supposed to despawn after that. Fine. Now is he going to do spawn or do I have to run away here? For some reason I thought he despawned after he finished. The tell mode. The rules are out the door. What am I talking about? Just, just don't listen to me. I'm pretty sure he despawns in heart. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> just, just put the alarm on. He's not going to notice anything. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Okay, we can do this. Doors open. We could make this. so fast. I think I can make it? I don't think I'm going to make it.
Oop, I hit the threshold. I was just about to take a drink and I was like, wait, QTEs. <laughs> Not the time to pick up the drink. That woman is your mother. Um, she tried to kill me. I'm glad you're not hurt. Thank goodness. We don't have time for this. I heard a scream coming from the lecture hall. I think it was so young. I'll go look for Ji Hyun. You go ahead. <clears throat> Just a bit of commentary because we just did Jimin's uh, endings and such. Um, but that scene um, where she comes in from the drained pool and she sees her fall, um, after Heeman leaves, you see Sung Ah come back and cradle her mother, which I think is really interesting. Um, you know, it shows that she, she still cares in some way. And of course, they, they embrace um, in the end once. Uh, once Jimin shatters the urn. Of course, now we got another ghost to deal with, but... Uh, I suppose, for a quick second here, we could scope the place out for uh, items. You know, I'm just waiting for one of the times that I come in here into this room that our spider girl, like, skitters over and grabs me when I don't know she's even in the room. You know, Janner wants something to investigate. Let's give him something to investigate when he respawns. We're just going to open up every door we can possibly find. And turn on all the lights. Ooh. We got to stock up on those felt tip pens, because you know the death of me is going to be trying to pick up So Yun when we're in the labyrinth. I'm not kidding. You know that's going to be the end of me. Oh, my God. She's just like... She just, like, materialized in front of me. Did you hear that? Like, she just spawned right there. Jeez. The one time she actually gets me. Of course, the light's on the opposite end. The light's always on the opposite end of where I enter the room. Oh, wait. I must claim my prize. I don't think I ever got the health kit down here, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. I must claim thine prize. You will not keep me from my my lunchables. This isn't this isn't enough. We have to open up everything.
Richie is one of my favorite ghosts. Oh no, did I miss an entire floor? All right, no, never mind. Fire and sick, yeah. I do believe that's our last. I don't think we need. I don't think we need much more out of this area, so I don't know if it's really worth scoping it out. stretch. Is that your connection or, or my connection? <laughs>
I think one of the flaky balls is back there. Okay, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Not young. I saw my sister. I heard her soul crying in agony. It's trapped inside the school. Heman, you must free them. All the dead souls trapped here. You must. So you've finally done it. I really thought you'd give up after one or two seals. How did it go? <sighs> I think it went well. I really think that my sister's soul has passed on. <laughs> wow, you're such an idiot. You don't know anything at all. What's wrong? Why are... Staring at me like that. What the hell is going on?
promise that your sister broke. My young sister, she would always be with me. She made that promise. She promised, but she never showed up. But I was all alone. Alone in the flames. When I woke up, my soul was trapped forever in the school. Like other dead souls, I prayed on people. Their energy, their dissatisfaction, and their sadness. It gave me strength. <laughs> but all that's over now. I'll be able to live again. And you are of no use to me now. You will die right here. And that's why Ji Hyung was getting phone calls from who she thought was so young. Hello, Mrs. Han. How are you doing? <laughs> it's me, Yoon Mi, Sung Ah's mom. I'm sorry I haven't called sooner. <laughs> well, Na Young really takes good care of Sung Ah, you know? My daughter's so fragile, you know. I'm always thankful that my young looks after her. Oh, please. Don't say that. <laughs> Why don't we have a dinner party with the kids sometime? All right. Okay. And that's your me, the mother that just died and came back. Hey, Nayeon. Look at me. <laughs> I'm always so grateful to you. It must be hard for you to study and stay with me all the time. It really helps me. Come on. Don't just laugh. Say something. Nayoung? Where are you? Quit playing and come out! Fire! Mom! Nayang! Anyone? Help me! And that's the full incident from the black, uh, the back mask tape. The fire in the home echo. Let me go! My daughter's in there! Sanga! Sanga! Get out of the way! Please let me through! And that's, uh... Oh, let go of me! Sanga! Sanga! Oh no! Sanga! That's the uh, Yumi, her mother. Hello? Anyone there? Mom? 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 Where are you? I can't see anything. Mom? Mom? Don't pretend 
to be good. <laughs> You're gonna feel my pain. <laughs> And that would be Sun uh haunting No Young. Which of course led to her hanging herself. Can I press the timer right to the end? Hey sis, dinner is ready. Na Young? I said come out for dinner. Don't you wanna eat? Open the door. Why aren't you coming out of your room? What's wrong? Uh, why are you angry at me? going to do it again. That timing on that is so finicky. That's how it's done. Oh yeah. So she gets the white day gift. Thank you. He goes what in for the kiss. Oh, shut down. Best part. Every day. But nobody remembered Sung Ah. She must have felt sad about that. I had forgotten her too. Even after all the things she did for me when she was alive. And that bit of dialogue makes that worth the ending, I Amen. think. I think that I will remember you for the rest of my life. How very anime. Alright, so that is the conclusion to hell mode, at least for the White Chrysanthemum ending. So, uh, a few things we're going to do here. We're first going to look at the uh, ghost, or ghost, the ending collection, uh, and I'm going to talk about what needs to be completed to get 100% on that, uh, because you've already seen me do everything at this point if you've been watching all the way through, and you don't need to see me do it all again. Um, and then I want to do some wrap-up. So, there are ten endings in the game that you can get. There are three that we did for So Young, uh, two we did for Ji Hyung, and two we did for Sung Ah in those original playthroughs. And then the seventh ending that you get out of that, or sorry, eighth ending you get out of that, is um, basically to die. So if you die at any point in the game, which is probably pretty likely in your first playthrough, you get an ending called You for that. 
Um, so if you've done all those, you've already got trophies for every ending um, through the main game. Now, White Day as a remake, because this is a remake, uh, there adds two different endings to the game, um, which is going to be um, Jasmine and Marguerite, which covers for G-Men, hence the flower names. If you look at the flower names from top to bottom, that spells out White Day and JM for G-Men. Uh, now, if you're starting this from, from scratch, the picture here is blank, and it's a puzzle board, basically, and so is the one on the right side. They're both blank. You'll notice there's five little dots next to each ending, and uh, you, may, you may have a good guess as to what that is if you've already done some of these endings, because you'll see, if you did these in the heart like I did, you'll see a little red dot on the fourth point all the way down. Um, if you did it on hard mode, if you did it on normal, you'll see it in the middle. And you can probably see where I'm going with that. Um, you have to do uh, all endings on every difficulty, and there is no stacking. This is the worst trophy in the entire game. It is the biggest slog I've ever done in my life, next to like Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, because, wow, the 100% of that was even worse. But um, this is probably up there with one of those trophies that I'd say is, is tedious, but not hard to get, once you kind of get a feel for the game. So, when I first did this, I went through and did all the endings on hard mode first, and then I did them all on hell mode. Uh, and then I started working my way down the list from normal down to very easy. Um, so, you'll see, you get one little dot for every ending, and it adds to the, um, to the puzzle pieces on the main picture that we were just looking at. And so, if you, if you just went through and just did, like, one ending, you'd have, like, a 20% mark here for that, whatever ending it was. Um, you know, so if you go to every one of these, it has the same thing. Uh, and as you do that, the picture pieces fill in as you play. Now, one thing I will say, um, if you've done every ending, you get a trophy for every ending. If you've completed the game on every difficulty, you get a trophy for every difficulty. So I will drop the trophies in here that I have not covered yet in the uh, description when I, when I kind of go at the point where I go through the, the collection. Um, there are a few other things that you will need to do in this. Um, so first of all, like I said, those don't stack, so you do have to play all five, all five difficulties for every ending, and I suggest working away from, from hardest to least because you're just going to take a lot of stress off by getting those out of the way. If you play on hard mode, um, you know, the rest of the modes down from there are pretty easy. Hell mode is a little different. My recommendation for hell mode, if you're playing it, just to save you time, is you'll probably notice when I did the backup saves in hard mode um, that we don't really have that option anymore because we don't have save files. But you can do this on USB drives and cloud storage. So if you have, uh, if you want to do a backup save, I would suggest doing it on one of those and use that as your way to go back and play those endings. Because the game core files are not, not you know, are not the same as your auto save files and your backup files. Um, so you can use those to um, back reload and go through and complete the ending at a later point. You don't actually need to go through and play it from scratch. So you can get all three of these endings here on one playthrough. You can get Tuberos, Ebony, Dandelion, Althea on one playthrough. You doesn't matter, you can get that on any playthrough. Um, and then you can also do Jasmine and Marguerite on one playthrough. The hardest ones to do on Hell Mode are by far going to be um, G-Mins G because of the, uh, I would say because of the Labyrinth and the QTEs at the end, it makes that a little bit trickier. Um, otherwise, White Chrysanthemum is tricky just because of the time it takes to do it. Um, on top of Hyacinth and, and IV. And of course, um, the Tuberos, Ebony, Dandelion, Althea endings are a little bit easier because you don't have to do the maze at the end. You're pretty much done after the fires burn out. Um, so that's what you need to kind of do to get those endings. So I've already done walkthroughs on how to get all the endings. Um, just note, when I was doing my White Chrysanthemum ending the first time, I was also doing the Ghost Collection, so you do not need to do that stuff. So if you watch my Hell playthrough, um, that's, that's all you need to do is do the dialogue and, and option, optional decisions along the way. You don't need to pick up anything specific. I didn't pick up any documents that you know, led to the truth. I just picked up stuff I had to pick up. So basically, so don't worry about picking up items or anything. If you, if you have to pick up something to progress, um, you probably already know that at this point because like the, the only one I can think of that you really need to pick up early on is the, the document that tells you um, the code for the lockbox, which is in the janitor's um, toolbox, and you can't pick up the toolbox tools until you read that. Um, so stuff like that you have to pick up. Otherwise, everything is pretty much just, you know, dialogue decisions. And that has no weight on the ending. It just blocks you from moving forward. 
So to get the ending collection trophy, which is called, let me look at the, what's the name of it, uh, Memory of White Day. So you will have pretty much every other trophy pretty, pretty early on because of that. Because the first time you clear any ending mode, you'll get a trophy for those. Um, uh, other than that, it's going to be the uh, Memory of White Day. Now, the Hell Mode has a little bit of a different feature, too, on, on trophies. There are three trophies relating to Hell Mode. Of course, one is just getting Hell Mode. Uh, there's also one for clearing Hell Mode seven times. You will get that while you are completing the ending collection. And there's one for clearing Hell Mode ten times, which you will get most of that while completing the ending collection. Um, so you can just reload up any playthrough once you've got that ninth ending and just play through to the end, and you will have your Hell Mode collection finished. Now, the other, other trophies that do relate to this... Um, there is a series of death trophies, but you don't need to worry about those in relation to this. I'm actually going to explain how to do that separately, because um, it's very unlikely that you're going to die 100 times during this game. Um, I would say no matter what. This game is not that hard uh, once you kind of get used to it, and if you're working on the ending collection, this should not be hard for you um, at that point. So that is how you get the ending collection. Basically just follow through what I did with all those playthroughs. Like I said, for White Chrysanthemum, um, you're... It, you know, just follow the Hell Mode playthrough. It's the same as my Ghost Collection playthrough, just minus picking up items, basically. And you can see I did that in less than four hours. So that wasn't too bad. However, you can see where that's going to stack and kind of make you want to want to hate the game in some ways. But yet, I'm still here playing the game, so it's it's not it's not that bad in the end. You'll 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 get through it. Um, the Hell Mode ones are by far the hardest ones to get. Now, one thing I'm not going to show how to do is to collect the figurines because I don't think these relate in any way, as far as I can remember, to um, the trophies. But you can get these throughout the game. There's, there's one of the guys I have listed has the items um, pointed out where to get them. So if you really want them, go for it. But you're basically just getting a costume for it, and it's honestly just not worth it. <laughs> the only thing out of this that is worth see seeing is going back to the home ec room. Uh, which is kind of cool. But otherwise, I would say this is totally not worth it, and you can only get these on Hell Mode. Um, so if you really want to waste your time with it, go for it. But I don't think they factor into any of the trophies, <laughs> as far as I, I, I can recall. Now, for the other trophies. So there are some additional trophies we have not discussed. There is a series of death trophies. Um, basically, um, there's one for dying 10 times, one for dying 50 times, and one for dying 100 times. Um, that's very tedious, and it's not. It's, it's a tedious trophy, I'm not going to lie. Um, there is a way to get this really quick and stack it with another trophy, though, uh, because there is a trophy called Fighting Off a Pervert, or fight, Fighting Off Pervert, I think it's just called, and Unwelcome to Vance, where you basically harass the girls and, and get them to kick you to death. <laughs> now, now, the game, the trophy for, for harassing the girls, you get just for harassing the girls. But I can show you a way to do it where you can actually get them to kill you in the process <laughs> and you can reload, reload and keep, keep doing it until you get your, your uh, 100 deaths if you want to do it that way. Um, so, do, I'm assuming we would like a demonstration of this, so I will do this. So I'm going to go to a new game, hard mode. You don't want to do this in hell mode because you only get so many saves. Um, and basically, basically what we're going to do is just jump into the game and I'll kind of explain this as we go. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's affecting anything. <laughs> this one might. <laughs> what? You're into so young as well? No, she didn't like Just that. Like all the other boys. <laughs> so why did you come to school at this hour? <sighs> Fine. Keep it to yourself then. Let's be really rude to her. I'm glad that you're here. You are going to help me out. Oh, am I? Look, don't be a jerk about it. <laughs> Come on. Like, if we're going to dip our toe in the water, we might as well go full, full on throttle here, right? G. Hen and I didn't know what we were going to do. Goodness, a guy like you showed up. Okay. So what you want to do is just touch your legs. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Do not do this at home. Hey, cut it out. This is wrong. <laughs> hey, you want me to kick your butt? Yes, that's exactly what I want. We totally should have put in swimsuits for this. Warning you. Of course, that just makes that's it extra it. wrong. Touch me one more time and I'll... Get 
Lost. Alright, so you should get the first trophy for that, just by doing that. It's called Fighting Off Pervert. Bathroom. Do you want me to stand here and wait for you? Wait till you're done in there. What are you talking about? Pervert. I left my book in the home ec room. I can't get in because it's locked. I happen to know that the keys are in the auto shop classroom, but it's locked up. Okay, okay. You want me to do it myself? <laughs> please, pretty please, with lots of sugar on top. How many times can I do this? Sheesh. You're really not going to help? Not bad. Thanks a lot. Nobody likes an unchivalrous man. Okay. So, we basically get an autosave for that. And so, if you wanted to kick you ten more times... What are you doing? Hey, cut it out! You just keep on doing this now. You want me to kick your butt? Yes. And you get a death out of it. I'm warning you. That's it. Touch me one more time and I'll... Get lost! So if you just keep doing that with her till you get up to 10, um, you'll get your second, um, basically second pervert trophy, as I call them. Um, and you'll have 10 deaths at that point, or uh, nine deaths, sorry. Uh, so the quickest way otherwise to do the deaths is literally just to let the janitors kill you or to, um, or you know, walk yourself into trouble, essentially. Uh, Rinse and repeat. The problem with the death trophies is uh, that there are like a, you have to do it like a hundred times, so it's a little tedious. Uh, but there's really no way around that, as far as I'm aware. Okay, the other trophy that we wanted to look at then is going to be um, is going to be the item-based trophies. Um, so I'm just going to load in here for a second. So, out of, out of all the items you can pick up in the game, the kind of, uh, more of the, there's the single-use items, of course, and then there's the healing items, and there are two trophies relating to the soy milk. So, the first one is, is uh, called Soy Milk is Delicious, and basically if you use soy milk once, I think you get that trophy. So, you probably already got this one if you've played the game at all. The other one requires you to consume 100 of these, which is a whole lot of soy milk. <laughs> um... If you follow through with my original walkthrough with uh, So Young, uh, you will have found 29 soy milks in the game total. Or I believe it's 29 that you can get total. Um, so if you take all the soy milks that you pick up, plus you take all the coins that you can collect in the game, you can buy up the soy milk, and you can have quite a, a stockpile by the end of the game. Uh, and so if you save all of them up to that point, basically just use them all and then let somebody kill you, um, you will have used up you know, 29 soy milks in a, in a shot. And then after you die and reload, you just keep reusing them and let, let, let somebody kill you again, like one of the janitors, and do that until you hit 100. So the soy milk, soy milk one does not take long to get. Um, so if I were just to consume seven of these right now, run out to the janitor, let him beat me to death, I'd, I'd have seven in the bank, basically. You have to do it all through one playthrough, uh, but the autosaves count as you're using them, uh, I do believe, if I recall how that worked. Uh, the other one I did um, 
is the tranquil tranquilizers. Same thing, um, you get a trophy called Deep, Deep Breath for using one of these, um, and you get another trophy called In a State of Nirvana for using 100. Now, unfortunately, with the tranquilizers, you only get like 10 in the game because you can't buy these, um, so you're going to have to reload a lot. So basically, use them all up, and then um, let somebody kill you, and you get, you'll get your trophy. So that, that should cover the entire collection for endings, plus all the leftover trophies. I don't see uh, anything else on my list, but I don't think I missed anything. Um, so that should cover for all the White Day trophies, which will lead you to the Platinum Trophy called Best Student for collecting all trophies. So most of the trophies in this game are unfortunately not very fun trophies to get. <laughs> Uh, the main story ones aren't bad, but the ones where you're just running into ghosts a hundred times or getting a uh, hundred items just you know, using them or dying over and over again just isn't that much fun. Unfortunately, for such a great game, the trophy list just wasn't that great. Um, there are some other trophies I have not talked about, but I did put them in the earlier parts of the guide, so if you look at the descriptions, you will see them. Uh, because there are some ghosts, uh, for instance, that have trophies that go along with them. Um, so let's see if I can quickly find him here. Um, so woman in the locker, for instance, um, you have to get her to scare you uh, a cert set number of times. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I do have it in the guide at the first point where I ran into her. Um, there's another one on this list. Uh, yeah, the haunted head ghost. So again, this is another one. This one you'll probably just get from playing the game, to be honest. Like, she pops up so much in the game, there's a good chance you're going to get it no matter what. Um, but basically, she's got to pop up and scare you X number of times. And again, this also to be done in one playthrough. And I believe there's one more. This one, Face Filled with Hatred. Um, so this is the one that you run into in the bathroom in the main in main building one. And basically, you just have to sit in the stall until she scares you X number of times. And I think what I did is I literally just sat in the stall and walked away and let it pop on its own time. I was doing other things while I let it go. Um, so those are three ghosts in the game that you have to basically let get you um, several times in order to get trophies. And like I said, they are in the, in the descriptions for the first time I played this while I was doing the ghost collection. So I've already, I've already kind of included that in there if you need to see it. Um, I didn't actually let him do it a hundred times, but I, but it, it, you know, I, I just point, it pointed where, where it would happen in my playthrough. Um, now the locker one's a little bit tedious because you do have to keep opening and closing the locker. You can do the same one over and over again. That's not a problem. The head ghost, the, the floating head ghost, you just got to wait for. Uh, the bathroom one's actually the easiest because you can just sit there and let it go. But that's all you need to do for those last few, uh, those last few trophies if you don't have those yet. But like I said, those are in my playthroughs. So if you've looked at the description at all, you've probably seen them. So otherwise, I have I did put the others in the description as well, like the main story ones. So when you like when you first get into every part of the building, like main building one, main building two, new building, auditorium, um, all the labyrinth type places, each of those have their own trophies. Um, those you know you'll find just by playing the game, and those are probably some of the more decent trophies I would say. Um, you'd think it'd be fun if they had done like a trophy for all the ghost encounters individually. I think that would have been kind of fun, because then you'd be like, oh, look, a new ghost encounter. <laughs> um, but anyways, that is all there is for White Day. This is the ending of our 100% of our uh, walkthrough. Kind of bittersweet. So I am ready to move on to something else, but uh, you know, this has been a lot of fun playing this again. It's been a while since I had touched this game. I, almost exactly a year, I would say, pretty, pretty close, or pretty close to. Um, so, unless there are any questions, I think this is where we will close it out. So thank you all for joining. Uh, I think we had uh, Caitlin, Corey, Beth, Firebird, and Bree all here tonight. Uh, thank you all for joining, and I will see you all later.